Ladies and gentlemen, today we are back with a brand new Pokemon Yellow Legacy patch. So this is a pretty big one. We've got a lot of new changes here. And uh, we're actually starting on a fresh game today, which is very exciting. And I'm realizing that you probably don't have sound right now. So we're going to hop into this and I'll give you sound in a sec. Um, but let's, let's just hop into this. I'm going to tell you guys what is new in this patch. And then we're also just going to start playing on a fresh, uh, a fresh ROM. So we're going to play on normal difficulty. Hard mode just adds level caps, items, and all that stuff. Um, for anyone who is unfamiliar, I will show you the new girl sprite. Um, I, I have shown this in the last live stream, I think. Um, but there is a sort of updated uh, version. We went with the actual... Whoa, is, am I peeking? If I'm peeking, let me know. I feel like... Take that down a bit. Anyway, so here is our green sprite, not not leaf. The, the one you've seen before was leaf, and we finally got a commission done, uh, or I think we had someone contribute this, um, which is this is like the actual Gen 1 art, which is really sick. Um, this, this is like inspired by Gen 1. It's got that Gen 1 feel to it. Um, I just think it fits better than like the Gen 3 leaf sort of vibe. So, yeah. Um, are you ready for sound? There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I see there's no sound. But hopefully now you have sound. So yeah, little Sunday action here for anyone that's uh, not part of the replay gang and making this live. I'm just honestly like, I'm just like, man, little Sunday Pokemon action. I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. You know, like I just don't have any like other work to do today. This is just sit down. Let's play some Pokemon and have a good time. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited to, uh, to get this live stream in and I will go through a list of big changes for this. I think we'll do that now because this is just this is just stuff that you know how the, you, you know how this goes. <laughs> Professor Oak finds a Pikachu on a route that doesn't even have Pikachu. It's crazy. Um, speaking of Professor Oak, that's actually the first change is we've added the second Professor Oak fight. Um, a previous ROM hack added Professor Oak 1 which is a fight after you beat the E4. There's actually a second Professor Oak fight. Um, we're not gonna say how you get it now, but I'll just say that there is a second final sort of Oak little, little. I uh, shouldn't say little, it's the hardest fight in the game. Um, we've added a way to catch Mew, an event for Mew. Um, I won't tell you how to do that either, but it is a thing. Um, we've added dev trainers, so myself, Webra and Craig have been added into the game um, as, as, as some very challenging hard trainers um, and they're guarding certain Pokemon. Um, so now if you wanna catch a super early Articuno or Zapdos, you have to beat a, a hard trainer. Uh, the reason we did that is like, you can catch a Zapdos when your team is like level 35 and it's level 50 and it kind of breaks the game. So now there's like, a, you have to beat this good trainer to get there. Um, will we be harder or easier than Oak? Uh, we will all be easier than the final Oak fight. My fight will be about on par with Oak 1. Uh, I think I'm going to be about level 70. Guarding, I'm going to be in Cerulean Cave. Um... Oh, another big one is the birds. Where'd my sound go? Where'd my sound go? <laughs> We're losing sound chat. What the heck is happening? Oh, we have sound. Oh, we lost battle sound in this. Okay, this has been happening. Um, yeah. Oh, and also Oak One has been given an, a, a, a learn set. In the last stream, we did fight Oak One, and he, he actually now he didn't have his he didn't have a learn set, so it was just the level up moves. Oh, oh my God! Is this Eevee gonna gonna slap me? <gasps> Whoa, that was close. We almost got a a Vapori. We could have got a Vaporeon run there, but we did get the dub over Pikachu. Wow, that's so weird that we just lost sound there, huh? Anyway, 
Um, it, it's going to be buggy. I should say, you know, nothing is set in stone yet. Nothing is, uh, nothing is done. There's going to be bugs in this ROM because it's, it's a new patch. So just, you know, prepare for that. Um, anyway, um, uh, yeah, so the birds now have unique overworld sprites. So you'll actually see like an Articuno sprite in Seafoam Cave, which is I, really cool. Um, I think it adds, adds quite a bit. Um, we have... Oh my god, okay. Are there any Ditto lovers in the chat? Anyone that that commented on our last video, the the every change to Pokemon, the, the Pokemon we've made? Anyone say Ditto needs to be better? Because if you are if you are a lover um, of the Ditto, Transform has been given priority. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, John. Yeah transform priority we've done it we've we've done it um everyone is obsessed with ditto and like i don't care like it's just like to me like it's just been such a low priority thing um but despite that we have given it priority so that's a little ditto change um asking about uh randomized for the evolutions i kind of like how this game does it so the team you get against blue is based off of your two performances. So if you lose both fights, you get the Vaporeon team. If you win both fights, um, you get the... Um, Jolteon team. And then if you... I'm trying to think here. It's, it's just one win. So like, if you get one win between the first two rival fights, like this one that we just did, and then if you could either skip or lose to the other rival fight, that gives you uh, the Flareon team. So I like how they do that. I think because it's like the Jolteon team is the best because Jolteon is the best of the evolutions. I mean, maybe, theoretically. Anyway, um, Vaporeon is the best matchup against Pikachu, which is why Vaporeon is technically the worst, um, even though Vaporeon is better than Flareon. So... Yeah, I really like the way they do that. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, do the girls that sell it on City change their dialogue when you are a girl? Um, we've generally just changed it to be... Glad like, the game just uses three. gender neutral language. Since the top five days, I was 10. Now I am 21 low, and my mom and I have been replay gang together since she's a big Gen 1 fan. Thank Whoa! Damn. Okay, that's kind of sick. Holy shit. I I love that. Like <laughs> just I'm just thinking like my mom doesn't know what Gen 1 what a Gen 1 is. <laughs> so that's cool. That's cool. Uh glad to finally catch a stream and watching since top 5 days. Damn, you were 10, now you're 21. You weren't 10. Were you 10? Has it been 10 years? I think I think it I think it was it must have been about eight or nine years ago, the top fives. I think it was 20... It's 2014. It's been 10 years since since my first like ever YouTube channel doing well. Wow, that's insane. Anyway, thank you. What's up? <laughs> Damn. Everything you do and continue to be amazing. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, we are old, dude. It, it, I think it has been 10 years since I've been, like, kind of, like, YouTube has been my full-time job. Um, all right. So, for this run, I think I want to catch a Mankey. Um, I still need to go through the rest of the changes, though. So, um, there was a glitch with uh, Cinnabar Gym. That's been fixed. There was a glitch with the Super Rod. That's been fixed. Um, what else do we have? Oh, uh, items are slightly cheaper. I believe... Either Pokeballs or Potions were 300, and now they're both 200, um, which is just, I, it's just, uh, I just found prices to be not what I wanted them to be, so I, I changed them, and I like it now, because then I can buy what I just bought, and it, it's not bad. Um, potions were 300, balls were always 200, cool, yeah. Um, we're def we definitely are not ready for... We're not ready for this this fight, but we are going to fight the rival. I want the Jolteon team. I want to win here. Uh, the last team... Oh, there's our Mankey right there. Hello, level four. We love that. All right, Mankey. 
Mm. Yeah, prior to your stream the other day, I had no idea of your YouTubing prior to this channel, let alone that it went back a decade and covered Minecraft, Fortnite, and zombies. Clever surprise. Yeah, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. So if anyone that does doesn't know, oh my god, this thing doesn't want to be caught. Um, started on Call of Duty Zombies in 2014. Um, actually, Top Fives, I started Top Fives, which was like my first... No, oh my god, I started Zombies in 2012. <laughs> and then my, I, I, like my channel started popping off in 2014 when I started doing Top Fives. Yeah. Um... Happy to see the development come so far. Oh, 1473. That can be done with exploits in this room patch. Um, yeah, there's definitely going to still be a lot of exploits because we're trying to keep it the buggy mess without all the inconveniences of buggy mess, if that makes sense. Like, the weirdness of Gen 1, trying to preserve that while at the same time fixing the annoying parts of that. Which is it's a tricky thing to balance because there's there's ROM hacks already that do like fix all the all the bad stuff, you know, but it's like what parts of the bad stuff actually give Gen 1 a bit of its identity, you know, so that's that's kind of been the stuff. But Cody, I freaking appreciate it, man. Thank you. That's very, very kind. So so thank you very much. 1473 It's such a random donation. Um, I love it, though. I'm not I mean, I. I don't know. I don't know why I'm commenting on it. I'm just like, it's a little specific. But maybe it was just a conversion or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you. Um, and then Justin says, let's say you skip the second rival fight, but you go back and fight it later. Um, does this affect Blue's team? I'm pretty sure you can fight. You can take that fight up to uh, Brock, um, and it will always count. But after you beat Brock, there's a flag that actually removes that, that the, the option to fight. Um, so, so after you beat Brock, he won't be there to fight, um, and it'll just ca count as a loss. So, yeah. Um, so it all, it all works out. Yeah. Out of the two Pokemon Legacy games you've made, which one is your favorite? Uh, well, given the fact that I always say, uh, Crystal Legacy for Yellow Legacy, it's clearly Crystal because Gen 2 is my favorite game. So it's hard to, it's hard to, to, you know for it to not be crystal um but i gotta say i i'm really happy we've gone back to do yellow um because there's not a lot of yellow rom hacks and furthermore i i never was a fan of yellow like i always just thought it was really lame and it just it was never the definitive gen one version to me and i it's it's actually given me a great appreciation for what yellow did for gen one um like even just the fact this is something that is so easy to overlook um but when you when you realize it it's like oh my god is the fact that in battle there there can be two different colors like in in blue the pokemon are just blue their palette is blue whereas in this you've got a purple rattata which we've actually programmed in and then we've got like a brown manky right and so in red and blue the color palettes would just be red or blue. And it's like little things like that. Now, originally, this Rattata was not colored, right? It was like brown. Um, but in general, you know, they were, Pokemon were colored to their actual color. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like both of your babies, you've learned to appreciate both the jankiness and how well built Gen 1 was. Yeah. The thing I realized about Gen 2 is like, like it was it was made for Crystal Legacy. Like that ROM hack worked out so much better than I could have even imagined because the game was so busted. Like it's it it, it has it, it it's like a beta where it's like not so janky like Gen 1 is, but it's also like it's 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 got the code and it's got the foundation to be good. So like, there's not a lot of glitch problems that we ran into with that game, but it had enough wrong with it that you're like, wow, Crystal Legacy found some balance. Uh, this is not the fight we want, obviously. Um, whereas this game is like so busted. Anytime you change something, something else changes and you break it. So. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> actually, I do want to get back because I know I, I told you guys I would cover some of the changes we've made. Um, 
So let me let me start. Uh, actually, I'm just going to show you something that is updated. I think. Um, I'm just going through. Okay. <clears throat> so this has to do with the old rod. And check this out. Hey, Cody with the gift. Dude, we love that. We absolutely love that, Cody. We are uh, eight members away from getting another emoji. So just just throw that out there for anyone that wants to join the team. Uh, you get or join the, the, the champion squad. You get uh, access to all live streams. So even if it's if I unlist the live stream after, I post it to members. Uh, and members also, I just I make random community posts just for like stuff. I give members basically just like updates on um, on channel stuff. So if that is of, of, of service to you, you also get cool emojis and you support the project in the channel. So check this out. This is a new NPC. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Grand, I like your style. Take this fish, young one. So, as you can see, <clears throat> you can get uh, the old rod early now. And the old rod now has Poliwag and Magikarp currently. We've been debating making Goldeen early, um, but I'm not really sure yet. I'm really not. I'm not sure if that's the play or not. <clears throat> Oh, might be time to switch my Twitch auto sub from like three years ago to YouTube. Eh? Oh my God, shoulder, you're still, bro. That is. Uh oh. Okay, so for some odd reason, we're not getting music against Blue. <clears throat> I think I know why. Um, it's fine, but it's not breaking the game or anything. But we we actually added uh, different music to the E4. Because Lance gets uh, Lance gets like gym leader music, but the other elite, elite four members don't. So we gave them all the same like gym music. Um, but I think that must have affected something with music here. <clears throat> anyway, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, Goldine honestly does feel like a decent. A decent ad just because it's not great um so giving it a little bit earlier priority would probably be probably be better um yeah oh have you thought about adding in the unused giovanni theme to his fights yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i think we're probably gonna do that um i think we're probably gonna do not uh not for the fight itself but we're actually going to add it to the the gym, the Viridian gym. I think it'd be really cool. Um, actually, I could play that if people want to hear it. I, let me let me pull that up. Um, unused geo fight. Um, pokey. <laughs> okay. Uh, Giovanni music Pokemon unused. Uh, there it is. This is the music. Damn, the crits. So I think for me, that sounds like not fight music. Um, to me, that sounds like um, like approaching a boss, you know, approaching a boss uh, sort of battle. So I think, I think that works better um, in the case of like, you enter the gym and you, sh you know, in theory, you don't know who the, the eighth gym leader is, right? Because it's a secret. <laughs> um, and then it's like, oh my god, it's Giovanni. I feel like that music matches that vibe pretty well. Yeah. Now, I still have not gotten through all the changes, so let's get back to that. Um, oh, but okay, we got one more. We got one more super chat. So I had an idea for Crystal Legacy in giving Espeon and Alakazam mind reader for Zap Cannon. Um, that's not a bad idea, actually. 
Um, unfortunately, right now we're just not making it. We're not. We're not doing any work on on Crystal Legacy. Um, so I think when we get to the next release for that, like that's definitely something like we're gonna come back to and and do a bit of work on. Just uh, you know, just like okay, how can we make this game a little more refined? Maybe we we had we came up with some ideas in Crystal Legacy in Yellow Legacy that we want to add to to this game, right? So definitely like you know when we we get to the next Crystal Legacy patch, um, definitely worth thinking about. But uh, I would say yeah, we'll just just hold on to that for now. But thank you. Yeah, o early old rod makes so much sense. Slightly devalues the magic carp seller though. Uh, I mean it does, but. It's still a guaranteed encounter, you know? It's like a free, a like guaranteed Magikarp is, is, is by no means, <laughs> like, still like, hey, here's the best Pokemon in the game and you get it for free, you know, no questions asked. It's, I, I don't think it, like, I, I again, I, I get what you mean, like, slightly, but it's, it's, it's all right. Okay, we're getting some weird battle. I guess it's just, I think we've just lost all music for battles. Um. This is what happens when you when you test a new patch, you know? Seems easy to miss the guru if you don't know. Um Yes, it is. It absolutely is. Um But it's just an old rod that you miss out on. So it's not like you're, you know, it's not the end of the world. Oh, what's up, Nathaniel? Um I'll I'll hit you with that mod. Just you're not asking you to do mod stuff, but uh just to give you a little status. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. <laughs> I actually I did not know you were lurking on this project, but that makes sense because I know obviously you're a Nintendo guy, so <laughs> I guess I'm just saying, yeah, I'm not not surprised, but awesome to see you here. Are people still working on this game? Yes. Okay. So just to clarify, this ROM hack is is it's in it's in progress, right? It's not done, and we're making changes. We test through, we play it, we say, "Huh, ah, uh, I like this change. I don't really like that change." All right, let's make these changes. Okay, how does that feel? And you just do that over and over and over until you get like a result that felt like Crystal Legacy, that feels polished, that feels like it's really everything is intentional and and, and well thought out. So. What inspired you to make the legacy games? Uh, yell, uh, Crystal being bad. <laughs> Crystal being bad, yeah. All right, there's our music. That's nice. Weird. We, we, we got a weird little weird little bug going on here. Um, Gengar with amnesia. I'm just going to have to ask you to stop. That is the most ridiculous comment I have ever seen. I want... I'm going to put you in a mental timeout, okay? I want you to think about the words you speak and the actions that you put out into the universe. That is almost criminal. <laughs> that is approaching like I am going to report you to the police for that suggestion. I love you, okay? <laughs> and I just want what's best for you. And what's best for you is... Gengar without amnesia. <laughs> That's just giving him calm mind. Oh yeah, double calm mind. It's no big deal. Just give the fifth best Pokemon in the game the most overpowered stat boosting. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yes, officer. That comment right there. <laughs> um, okay, I still not through these updates, so let's get back to it. Um, also, sorry for no sound in these fights. Um, Machamp no longer evolves into Machamp. That was a glitch, obviously. Uh, Kiwan, welcome to champion. Heck yeah. It looks good on you. That's what I'll say. It looks good on you. We also have Shoulder Shot, welcome to champion. I think I missed that one, but Shoulder Shot, welcome to champion. Heck yeah. Um, the E4 now plays trainer battle music, not just Lance. Um, that's gym battle, I believe. Uh, move some bug, move some things around to clear more space for learn sets. That's nothing for you. Added part of the game Easter egg. Okay, so does anyone know who part of the game is? We actually added an Easter egg for this guy who donated $500 in the last stream. 
So on the SSN, there's just a random person now, one of the NPCs, and they just give you 500 Poké Dollars. <laughs> and they go, they go, yeah, what do you, what do you mean? It's, it's part of the game. <laughs> um, could we see the old rod, good rod being made early in Rambled Legacy? Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, obviously that's, you know, we're getting ahead of ourselves here, but yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. Um, definitely. Definitely. Um... So Janine added as a trainer in Koga's Jib. Okay, this is a cool one. We're getting into the cooler stuff here. So I wanted to just make a subtle reference to Janine. Um, so there's just a there's a there's a I think it's a lass maybe in in Koga's Jib, and she's got a team that slightly resembles her Crystal Legacy team. So just a fun little like subtle reference to to Janine as a character. Um, yeah, that's a perfect cameo for uh, part of the game. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, no, no custom sprite or anything. Like I said, we just want to make it subtle. Like, oh, oh, I think that's Janine, you know? Um, not adding in new new characters or anything like that, because the game's pretty full as is. Again, this is the thing. People are like, can you do this? And it's like, no. <laughs> Sorry. This game sucks. <laughs> Gen one's busted. We can't. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we could add a Janine sprite, but that's not the point. It's to be a. It's to be a Easter egg for you guys. It's not. It's not. You know what I mean? It's. It's. Yeah. If you know, you know. But like, we're not handing these out for free. Oh, I have the document. Yeah. So there is a change. A change document, um, which I want to just keep to members only as just like a little as like a little sort of bonus thing. So um, on the community member community page, there's a members only, damn it. Uh, there's a members only post that has uh, all the changes, it, it, basically all the changes. Um, so anytime I do, I do a day of, of fixes. I just, I just write up like the, the changes that we've made. Um, and so that is, I've made it available to members. Um, just as like an extra little bonus thank you, just just for people that, you know, support the project a little more. Give you a little bit more value out of your channel membership. Um, so that is something that is available if, if anyone is interested, uh, if that is appealing to you. Um, yeah, one thing I've also been thinking is maybe starting a Patreon. Um, something I've never really like considered before, but... Uh, just, I've been getting like an overwhelming amount of sort of like, hey, like I really want to support your channel in this project and like, how do I do that? You know, I get a lot of comments like that and it's not something I had like ever thought about before. I've never done a Patreon really like seriously before. Um, but I do kind of think like, damn, maybe that would be something cool and, and then, you know, make it like you know, really provide some value in that. So I was thinking like maybe like every month, like a members, a members only live stream or something where um, like, it's like a just for members. And I, we just like maybe talk about the ROM hack and like answer any questions people have uh, really just dive into like the changes we've made in the last month. Something like that, I think would be kind of cool. Like I said, a members only or something like that. Um, and then also YouTube channel members would also get access to that. Um, but I know some people l like Patreon. I don't know. I've, like I said, I've never really done it, so I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, Patreon would be amazing. Yeah. I think it is an opportunity to just hopefully give some people some more, some more value. Hey, Peg Istmo. What's up? Welcome to champion. It looks good on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that a lot. Welcome to the squad. Oh my god, we just got sucked into a vortex. Um, <laughs> yeah, so just no no battle sound at all. Um, okay, so one thing we, we experimented with for this patch is when you pick up Oak's parcel, you get Pokeballs. And the game actually has been like hard-coded to like break if you catch a Pokemon before you get your Pokedex, like it just doesn't want that to happen. Um, so because of that, what does a low kick do? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, 
because of that, we had to we had to remove that idea, unfortunately. Uh, Joshua says, big fan, great work so far. Yellow was uh, by f uh, my first Pokemon game, so it's exciting to see your work on this. By the way, uh, have you played Pokemon Academy Life? Um... As it's not like popping up in my head, I've got to say definitely not. I'm not sure what that is at all, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's it, that's a crazy actually first title to play is Pokemon Yellow. Um, I think I had a friend who actually did that too. My first was Silver and he had a Game Boy before me and I remember going over to his place and him having Pokemon Yellow and I only knew what Pokemon Red and Blue was and I was like, whoa, you get Pikachu, like that's cool. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's an interesting first game to have. So, hell yeah, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Why not have Oak or one of the aids? And that's probably what we're going to do. Well, here's the thing. Oak actually already gives you Pokeballs. You just don't know that that's a thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're running Mankey for this run. Um, other choices, we're, we're thinking about maybe running... Um, Kingler and Jigglypuff, maybe. Uh, running Pikachu, but then swapping it out for Electabuzz once we once we get access to it. I guess Amnesia Gengar is the joke this stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I, I'm obviously like no hate or anything, but I just gotta, you know, when I see a bad suggestion, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know. <laughs> Um, dude, this pincer is beefy. Oh my god. Okay, that was a pointless leer. Um, I think, I think actually this man just got to take the L. Damn. It's a tough, it's a tough pincer. Ooh, we've also got a, another change. Actually, I'm going to show you guys after this fight. That's really cool. Damn, huge crit from Pika. Pikachu's good early game. Come on. Pikachu needs amnesia. Stop. Stop. That would actually be great for Pikachu, but nah, it's just, you know, it's, it's not appropriate. Uh, Venusaur now gets Rock Slide as a TM move. That's a new change. Uh, Venusaur's kind of bad in this game, and I don't know if that is going to do enough for it, but we also gave it earlier Sleep Powder. So I think it gets Sleep Powder in the 30s now um, to kind of help with it. It's It gets it around the time you hit Rock Tunnel, which is around the time that it starts getting bad. So... Like, right after Rock Tunnel, it gets bad. Oh, wait. There's a potion right there. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Right. The thing I wanted to show you guys that I forgot to show you. Um, we're going to kill this thing just because Pikachu could use the level. Um, it's going to be all Mankey in this fight. And honestly, I don't think Mankey's going to be able to get this win. But check this out. Okay? So, you can go stats... And you can see an individual Pokemon stats. That's nothing new right there. But if you press A and start at the same time, ready? Oh, I did it wrong. Sorry. Let's try that again. Check that out. So this shows a Pokemon's DVs. So you press start and then A when you go into stats. And so you see HP DV of 5, 0 to 15, attack 13, defense 3, speed 8, special 1. Honestly, a pretty sick Mankey. It's got a really high attack DV, great speed. That's really cool. Um, the Again, you can see Pikachu. Um, honestly, like, I, sevens across the board is, is always nice. And then it's high, thir high it's kind of like a bulky Pikachu. Yeah, <laughs> Shaker, exactly, exactly. Um... So that's really cool, because I know people hate like having to go into Pika Hex, so that's a really nice quality of life feature. Um, also, we've reordered TMs in the Marts to be a numerical order, because that was just kind of driving, like I think that was mostly driving Craig crazy. He's like, I gotta change this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and and to, in line with the the whole TM thing is all all TMs will be available, so. Basically, the way we, we do it is I'm very against infinite TMs. Uh, it it kind of breaks the game. Um, I don't think it I don't think it's interesting. I think a much better way to do it is you give that player that TM to start, and you get one instance of it, and it's like, wow, this is re this is a really big deal. This is a huge power spike. This is a new you know a new power item, a new resource I can distribute into one of my team members, um, and that shouldn't be oh I have it unlimited now. You know I get. 
I get early Mega Punch, and now I could put Mega Punch on all six of my Pokemon. No, it should be you get one Mega Punch to distribute how you choose. But then, as the game goes on, and Mega Punch stops being a power spike, it's at that point in the game that you should be able to distribute it to, you know, an unlimited amount of time. So that's that's how we've we've handled TMs. I I'm like very adamant that that's just the way you do RPGs in general. Um, I'm a big Fire Emblem fan, and like. The most recent engage does that so like you have a sword fighter and they have like the ba the basic sword which is like the iron sword and then you know you get in a few fights in and you, you kill an enemy and they drop a, a steel sword and oh, there's a there's a there's a, a marketplace you can go to where you can buy iron swords but the steel sword is a boost because it's stronger right so that it's a limited resource so making good things limited resource but once they stop being really good then you you make it like more distributed. Um, so for the really good TMs like Blizzard and stuff, um, that is going to be not until post game. But Ice Beam, you'll be able to pick up before you go into the uh, Elite Four. So you know it's 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 just a balanced way to distribute it. Like I said, very adamant on it. Moon dropping ten bucks, nothing to say. Just, just drop it. Just, just here. Take my money. That's it. Thanks, Moon. We love it. Thank you. We love to see that. Let's, uh, you know, let's let's give some love to Moon. Okay. Let's just give some love to Moon. Some hearts in the chat, please. Um, you're taking Blizzard out of the mansion? No, 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 no. It's exactly what I said. You get Blizzard in the mansion, but you shouldn't ha then have unlimited Blizzard. You should have one Blizzard, and then we bring it back once you beat the game, where you can buy as many as you want. Yeah. Kind of frustrating. Unless you connect the internet, they give... Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Earthquake would be post-game. Uh, Earthquake would be post-game to purchase. Yeah. But all the TMs are eventually infinite. That's exactly it. But the stronger the TM, the later you get access to infinites of it, including up to post-game. Blazieth, you're a... F mm, I love you. You got it. You got it. Beautiful. I feel so understood right now. Okay. Let's test Brock. Um, we're gonna lose. Just a heads up. This is gonna be this is gonna be an L. I know this is weird, but this is gonna be an L. Okay. So we've actually added better AI. Um, we've we've since the last time you've seen videos on Brock, like the Pokemon changes and the gym leader changes. Both both people have seen changes. So we removed Onyx's Rock Throw. We actually gave it to Geodude because we realized Geodude actually doesn't really do anything. So Geodude has Rock Throw. It's weird that it didn't go for it there. Um, but basically, better AI, um, not smart AI, but like actually a new version of code in general um, that is just like essentially like somewhere between Gen 1 and Gen 2 style AI. So it's not as smart as Gen 2 AI, but man, maybe this wasn't the play. Let's let's head over to Mankey. Anyway, the point is, um, I don't know about this. I think I might just have to spam some leers. Um, okay. Let's see what low kick does. Yeah, so Onyx, uh, again, um, you know, just for someone like uh, like Jin Siu who says Onyx has terrible stats, but that's okay. If you haven't watched all our Pokemon Legacy videos, go watch them because you're going to be like, Onyx has terrible stats, but we've, we've, we've fixed Onyx, you know? So definitely recommend before, you know, this is always like the, the big challenge with, with doing these streams and stuff is we're not all on the same page because people don't understand where a Pokemon's at. Um, and even if you've watched that video, unfortunately, as you're seeing, Onyx has changed. So we made that video, got your guys' feedback, and it was like, oh, you know what? Damn, big crit. But we got a growl off. Um, basically... <sighs> oh, actually, that's huge. We can get some more growls off. Um... We removed Onyx's Rock Throw. We gave it back Bind. It has Constrict, it has Screech, and it has 
bind and bide. Um, and then Geodude now has rock throw. And I think, I think Brock is in a great spot. Onyx's speed was originally 70. We bumped it up to 95. We've bumped it back down to 85. And I think Onyx is in a good spot. Now, we're getting a lot of super chats here. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Uh, and I'm trying to run because I'm so overwhelmed. Um, okay. Any way to become a playtester? Uh, join the Discord um, is really the best way. Like, we'll, we'll probably bring in a few playtesters for Emerald Legacy. Um, so, it's really just people that are super knowledgeable, that have something to provide, that are, you know, experienced with the game that we're working on, um, that are cool, chill people, that are active in the community. That's how we basically pick our playtesters. So, yeah. Um, something I realized last night is, oh no, oh no, we lose. Damn. Damn. How Flamethrower is not a TM like Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. Well, guess what? That's such an astute observation. And we actually agreed with that. And because we agreed with that, we have actually made Flamethrower a TM. Because I wholeheartedly agree. Why, why does Ice Beam and Thunderbolt get one, but then the worst type of those three, Fire, doesn't get it? Water gets an HM. Meanwhile, Fire doesn't even get Flamethrower. Meanwhile, Whirlwind is a TM. I don't know about you guys. It doesn't feel fair to me. <laughs> um, it doesn't really feel fair. So, we replace Whirlwind with Flamethrower. And Flamethrower is now acquired in... The Rocket Hideout. So, you got it, Monster Tamer. Um, sometimes Joey. First Super Chat. What the heck is up? Uh, ETA on the release on this patch. Um, so, two months ago, I was like, I think we'll get it out in March. And then Craig was like, it'll always take longer than you think. And I was like, okay, maybe April. Craig's like, it's going to be at least April. And I was like, well, maybe March. It's not going to be March. Um, is it going to be April? <laughs> Maybe. It's going to be maybe April. Um, I think it's going to be, I think, look, look, early, early May, late April. You know, it's just getting pushed back, but I don't want to release a, a, an unfinished hack. So, so yeah. Um, we beat Brock. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> nice shot, Pikachu. Let's get some, let's, let's get some, get some claps in the chat for Pikachu. That was not an easy fight. But I felt in control. Um, I was underleveled, and I only had two Pokemon, and one was horrible. So all things considered, I think Brock actually feels in a great spot. I think I think this is the best iteration of Brock so far. And something that us and the that me and the the playtesters we 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 have this meme called the Brock Wars, because I swear to God, thirty percent of debates on changes for this game have been about Brock and Onyx. Like, literally not even joking. Like, not total effort going into the ROM hack, but as far as, like, trying to find balance, like, trying to keep Brock feeling like what Brock was, while also remembering that actually yellow Brock is a little different from red and blue Brock, so trying to channel that feel, bro, Brock has been a nightmare to balance, and that was... That was exactly what I want Brock to be. Like, that was a close fight. I had a bad matchup, but I did have one good Pokemon. It didn't go totally in my favor. I wasn't overleveled, and we got the win just barely. It was good. Anyway, sometimes Joey. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Oh, Constrict is normal type. Um, another super chat here. A wild super chatter appeared. Go, anxiety. Use. Change the subject. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> uh, we got another, oh my god, Heather, you're crazy. Uh, we got a 20 bomb from Heather. Been enjoying the very detailed videos on the changes you've done. I know you've been taking a break from Crystal, but I'm curious if any changes you've made in Yellow has inspired you. Okay, um, actually, yes. Like, we've been doing things in, in this game, and I've been like, 
Oh, damn. I probably should have done that in Crystal. Because, you know, like, you're always going to have those moments where you're like, damn, I should have I should have thought about that. It, you know, like, we did so much, and I feel like we did a great job. Also, I need to see hearts in the chat for Heather, ladies and gentlemen, because that is a spicy 20 bomb. And thank you. Um, but, yeah, it's like... I, I just, there's the little things. Like, one thing I, I said even in a video is Blaine and Blue in Crystal have the same ace. And they're back-to-back -back gym leaders. And it's like, damn. I just, it, it just, it went over my head. I didn't think about it. Um, a lot of, like, little move changes, little subtle things in, in, in like, learn sets. And that. Hey, there it is. I was like, it's always so late. It's so delayed. But anyway, <laughs> Heather, um... Yeah, so I think, like, I'm probably going to take a lot of ideas that I've thought from... from I shouldn't say a lot, but there's going to be some things that I'm going to go back into Crystal Legacy w whenever the next patch is, like, maybe in a year. And just be like, okay, this is what I learned from Crystal. This is how we could make... Or, sorry, this is what I learned from Yellow. This is how we can make it a little bit better. Because it's also, like, you get a deeper understanding of what made crystal right like learning and understanding gen one better you're like okay i see how they got to this point in crystal and so i think that does change it a little bit so i always appreciate the comments heather i feel like you always got like truly like a question that i have like like a lot to give um so thank you <laughs> um and we've got shaker weren't trapping moves late game they were um but Actually, we just found it's not too bad on Brock if you lower his speed a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Best idea. Make Rock throw a dragon move and also give Alakazam egg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Onyx needs amnesia. Yes. Absolutely. For it, So it can send out some beefy... Uh... Actually, Onyx is not the worst uh, contender. That might be a serious comment. Trust me, it's a thousand IQ. You goals are beyond my understanding. Music being light makes it feel like a true Gen 1 experience. It is funny to have no, isn't it? Oh, damn. Butterfree got those hands. All right, let's... Oh! Oh! Right, confusion. Reminder, Mewtwo has amnesia. Yeah, but you can't, you can't use Mewtwo as a benchmark to balance all other Pokemon. Mewtwo is the strong, is the most overpowered Pokemon comparatively to anything else in its generation by a landslide. Like, dude, Mewtwo is broken and it's meant to be broken. Like, Gen 2, Mewtwo's already not near as good. But, like, how do you kill a Mewtwo? Right? It's got amnesia, it's got barrier, it's psychic type, so it has not, it's, there's nothing weak to it but like a pin missile from Jolteon. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Slowbro has amnesia because it's slow. That's okay. If a slow Pokemon has amnesia, it's not near as scary. Alakazam with amnesia, bro. Stop. Stop. I'm going to... I'm going to... No, I'm literally going to arrest you. <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo is a, is a trophy. Exactly. Mewtwo, Mewtwo is like the beat the game and then like go back and play the game with glitches kind of Pokemon. Like that's, that's what Mewtwo in Gen 1 is. It's like... All right, you beat the game. Here's just something stupid. Like, this is just, this is not balanced. This is just fun, you know? Like, Lugia and Ho-Oh in Gold and Silver are available for the game. Mewtwo is, you're done. There's nothing else to do. It's the last thing, unless you want to go back and fight the E4 and just be like, wow, this thing's really strong. Obviously, the tr we, we know the true purpose of Mewtwo is to is to stomp your friend uh, <laughs> via link cable, cable battles, but, you know. <laughs> I fucking hate you, chat. <laughs> Everyone is just Amnesia Gengar. <laughs> mm. Alakazam, Starmie, Mew, Executor, and Chansey with Amnesia. Yo, Chansey with Amnesia. I think we should give Chansey a barrier to, while we're at it. Mewtwo was, from stats alone, the strongest Pokemon until... Re no. No, Mewtwo is stronger than Rayquaza. Because Mewtwo has 154 special defense in this game. 744 base stats. I gotta make a short on that. It's a it's a really cool little little thing. 
Seen the comments about Pikachu's badge boost, by the way. Um, I, I read all the comments, but I gotta be honest. Reading comments on an update video for, for a legacy game is, is exhausting because I feel like 50% of comments are just people that aren't following enough and they're really passionate and they're really excited. And I have to remind myself about that, but it's so frustrating when it's like genuinely someone asking like, can you, I don't know, like what's, what's like, you know, make a new type can you turn Meganium into a dinosaur type? Like genuinely people have asked that and it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, you know? So it's, it's an exercise in patience, which is probably good for me. Um, <laughs> um, earliest ice types, ice type run. I know there's no early ice types because there's no like low stat ice types. I think the earliest will probably be Jinx if we put it into the game. Um, it's kind of sad, unfortunately, though. There's there's not really any... Yeah. I would like an Ice-type run, but... Yeah. Uh, a Swords Dance Chansey. I feel like I missed something, but... Anyway. What about Seal? It's like, where do you put Seal? You know? That's the problem. Because I agree. Like, I would like an early Ice-type, but I just don't know... Pokemon specific glitches like Gengar before Brock, Mew still be in the game? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, don't worry. That's staying in. Uh, it's not equivalent to what you said it'd be. Pikachu can have up to a base attack of 107 with its, with it since it multiplies the stat. Huh. I don't know if I fully understand, but I, you're saying I miscalculated. Anyway, that's not bad. Or are you saying, like, if you reapply the badge, if you use the badge boost glitch? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, critical hits, ignore buffs and debuffs still. You got it. Unchanged. Oh my god, 10th super chat. They're a legend. Oh my god. Wow, relinquish. Let's get some, let's get some love for relinquish. That's sick. Damn. Seal in Viridian City's Bay. Do you mean ver Vermilion? Because I don't think Viridian has a bay. Yeah, you mean Viridian. Yeah, I got you. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the earliest you could do it. Yeah, I wouldn't hate that, honestly. Because um, it's not like Dugong is like a, a, a top tier Pokemon. Like Lapras outclasses it. And it's literally like one of the worst ones. It's just like Lapras is just better seal. Like just a, bul like a bulky water ice type. That learns, like, like oh my god, man. It, as if the badge boost adds 25 to the base stat, but it actually does that to the raw stat. Think of Azu Azumarill huge power. It doesn't have a... B oh, see, I definitely don't understand how Pokemon works. Um, 25 to the base stat. It actually adds it to the raw stat. Oh. Okay. Okay. So not to the base stat, it adds it to like the whatever the actual stat is. So if your stat attack, if your attack was 100, it would make it 125, is what you're saying. Cool. Uh, Growlithe won't be available early. Uh, Growlithe is available after the third gym, I think. Or maybe, I think it's the third gym. Uh, but Vulpix is available just before Vir uh, Viridian Forest. Uh, I don't think we're going to run Poliwag. It's too late to catch it. Uh, I, actually, it's not. But uh, I actually want to run Krabby. Uh, that was suggested by one of the playtesters, and I like that. We're also going to catch a Jigglypuff. Um, I got four Pokeballs. We can do that now. Uh, okay, sorry. I missed another comment here. Um, uh, haven't been able to keep up as much recently with work. Any changes with the rival? Oh my god, so many changes, Spencer. It warrants a whole video. Um, so basically, to give you a very loose um, answer, the rival states that he catches all kinds of different Pokemon. There's like a line from him in this game where he's like, I've caught already over 50 Pokemon. And he's the exact same team throughout the game. Now, yes, it varies whether it's like, a, you know, is it the Vaporeon or Jolteon team? But as a whole, it's just the same Pokemon. He loses his Raticate. That's it. Um, 
I don't even know if that's a thing in yellow. It's it's a red and blue thing in my brain. But anyway, um, the point is, okay, the 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 story doesn't match the gameplay. It's just a really basic thing that makes games worse. You want the story to match the gameplay. I'm gonna go grab some potions, by the way. Um, so all we did to fix that uh, is we basically give him like a different team for every time you fight him. And it's really, really smart. This was not my idea. This was this was from the playtesters. Um, Arrow really, really spearheaded this idea. Um, but the idea is that he's he's building a team, right? He's crafting his final team. Every time you see him, he's got something a little different. He's experimenting. And I love that. I think that is really cool. Um because it just it feels in tune with like what his dialogue actually says. So rather than him picking up a sand shrew when you see him on Nugget Bridge, he picks up a bell sprout because he's like, okay, I need a grass type to beat Misty. Why would he pick up a sand shrew for Misty? Like that's so dumb, you know. And maybe okay, he caught it after Misty, but it's around the time of Misty, so I feel like you know, um, for Surge that's when we give him that Pokemon, right? So that's the idea. Um, oh, dang it. Come on, hit that sing. Hit the sing. Damn it. Um, that's the idea behind the rival, basically. And so he's slowly crafting his final team. Um, and his final team will be like a really, really cracked team. Um, yeah. So I, I think it, I really like what it does for the game. Um, yeah. 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 Well, the reason he catches a bell sprout is because it's just north of 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 the gym, right? Oh, PP for sky attack and drop to five? Yeah, probably. If that's not a thing, I should probably do that. Oh, one sec. Um... All right, so uh, we have Pikachu, Mankey, and a Jigglypuff. I've never ran Jigglypuff before, so I'm curious to see how it does. Yeah, he doesn't necessarily keep the Bellsprout, but he catches one, and he uses it. Yeah, exactly. All right, chat, heading into Mount Moon. I feel like we're, I gotta say, like, as you would kind of hope, um, damn. This is definitely feeling like the best iteration of the game so far. Um... Yeah. Uh, Pikachu gets all HMs, by the way, to those uh, someone asking Zen. Um, yeah. Be really cool if there was some randomness to his team. Like sometimes he has Sandshrew and some and sometimes Diglett. Yeah. So every every variation of his team is different. So if you get if you run the vapor if you win once you get uh you know Flareon and that team is going to be entirely different in every way in every instance than than the Jolteon team and so on to, to match you know he's because he's matching that team to his starter right so it, you can play three different runs and you'll get three like completely different rivals to add a little you know replayability Pikachu is the ultimate HM friend exactly exactly so it's not random but it it varies you know it's yeah Star or Goldeen, not sure how early they are, but those would be some interesting water types. Yeah, like Goldeen is not super early, but I, I think it would be nice to send it early. Um just because like it's not that great, <laughs> really. So I don't know. I, I would yeah. Make amnesia a TM. Stop. Damn, Jigglypuff. You gotta hit those. Yeah, Starmie is gonna be locked away down by Koga still, because it's just too good to, to put it any sooner. It's in my opinion, it's the it's the best Pokemon. Um But yeah. 
Pikachu makes a great HM friend. Yeah. Why not, right? It, it, y you see it doing that stuff, right? So why not? All right. We are going to heal once, and then we're heading into the cave, and we're not leaving. I like to get those two trainers out of the way, and then the rest of the run, we don't, we don't leave. I also have repels, just to make the, the journey a little bit nicer. We have water gun. Jigglypuff learns water gun. That's amazing. Um, awesome. You know, one thing I, I didn't really thought about that someone commented on I thought was really interesting is the early version of this cave, like the early parts of this cave don't really have hikers. And I like that because it shows like the trainers that are struck, like, like it would make sense that a hiker would be a bit later through here, right? I like, that's cool. I really like that. Like, yeah, of course the hiker's gonna be deeper into the cave. He's a hiker. Um, whereas like the person with bugs is like at the start. <laughs> I've hundred times and really want to play it on my phone. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many tutorials. Just Google it. Like YouTube searches. It, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Mm. Oh, if you're on an iPhone though, it's really hard to do it just on an iPhone. You need you need a computer and an iPhone. Uh, can you replace the fly sprite with Pikachu on balloons? Honestly, like, that's, I think that's really going to be really hard to do, so probably not. Um, just got to be real with you. <laughs> Building animations are not easy. You can even patch ROMs on your phone if you use Google for five minutes. Yeah, it, it, it definitely just use the internet. Information's out there for sure. Moon Tunnel and Mount Rock. Hmm. Hmm. Mount Rock. What a name. <laughs> Um, what have we got here? We've got an electric user. I don't really want to fight this guy. I don't like, I don't like fighting that guy. Not that he's that good. Ah, I'm not scared. I'm not a wuss. Bring it, nerd. Mount Rock, starring the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. See, it's just it's just a lot. It's got high specials. Stab electric hurts this early in the game. I don't love it, you know. <laughs> yeah, Ron Patcher JS. Ron Patcher JS. That's what we love. Let's send off a Fury swipes. Give me that. Give me that five roll. That'll be a kill, I think. Hit me with that five roll. Ugh. Ugh. Fury swipes is not bad though. It's got twenty base, so. Pretty good. What are the major changes? Uh, we have a video on the channel titled Gen 1 Pokemon is Broken, so I'm fixing it. That is the video for you, my man. You should go watch that. What else are we giving Amnesia 2, boys? <laughs> 700 viewers, but only 130 likes. That's impolite, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I can't disagree, you know. Do you even like this? How do I know you like this video? Oh, this is a level 10 Caterpie. I think they have a Butterfree, though. I think it's just a level 10 Caterpie and then a, a Butterfree. So that's... Fine, because sometimes it's just a variation thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Come on, hit me with that. Yes. So Jigglypuff and Butterfree are the two early sleepers. Um, they're the only two Pokemon that get sleep in the early game. 
grass types are really bad in Gen 1, so we give grass types it like around 30, and then anything else that you would be you would know to learn sleep uh, gets it like between 40 and 50. I think Gengar is the latest sleep learner because Gengar is so goddamn broken in Gen 1. Even, like I didn't realize Gengar base Gengar was that good, but when every team has just a bunch of normal moves, and it, Gengar learns Thunderbolt and Psychic and Mega Drain, and then you want to give it Hypnosis Dream Eater. Yeah. Um, also, update on the on the Gengar uh, the Gengar Wars, which I think are the new like Brock Wars were the first wars. I think Gengar is the second wars. Um, Brock has been given, sorry, Gengar's Nightshade is now 60 base power. So with Stab, that's equal to it using Psychic. I, I can't go any higher than that. I'm not going to debate this. I So many people, like, want to say what they think and, you know, think I'm wrong. And it's like, listen, I've considered what you've considered. <laughs> and, and there's a reason that I'm choosing not to do that because I, I understand the balance of the game. You know, people are like, I can't believe you wouldn't make Nightshade 80 or 90 base power. And it's like, you know, I'm not actually like evil. I actually just have the game's best intention in mind. And I, I understand why that doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah. Thanks for 60 base power. Yeah, and I mean, the thing is, people are also like, oh my god, why would you make it 50? That's so stupid. And I'm like, this this game isn't out yet. <laughs> you know? The thing is, is like, that was like, okay, this is way too strong. Let's pull it all the way back, and then we'll, we'll, we'll you know? So 50 was like a test, right? And we're like, okay, cool. You know? Um, but yeah, I think it's important to remember that nothing is... The, the, the lack of permanence of anything in this in anything in a ROM hack at this point, you know? Um, yeah. Erica will be a problem with the current team. Well, yeah, I'm going to catch a Krabby. Won't be a problem then. God. Yeah, I think 60 is probably, probably right. It's still so... Lance? <laughs> Gen 2 Lance? 60's <laughs> okay, just give him amnesia. Holy shit, I, I don't know what, what, what this chat has started, but it's too much. <laughs> Would it be possible to have an option to slow down the music so that it plays normally with speed up? No. <laughs> no. No, that's not possible. I wish. I wish. Uh, 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 it's a great idea, but it's too much to ask. Oh, Jabel, the item management is so bad. Is there any way to add item sort for quality of life? Item sort like this? Huh? Yeah. Come on, you really didn't think we'd throw that in. Thank Craig. So what's everyone up to today? How's life? How we doing? <laughs> I'm, uh, it's actually my dad's. Oh, Jigglypuff fainted, right. But we have one revive. Nice. We just need that Moonstone, and then Jigglypuff kind of comes online, but right now it's kind of flubby. Man, Jigglypuff has so much HP, though. Goddamn. Oh, it's your birthday today. Nice. Today's not my dad's, actually, my dad's birthday, but, uh, this is the day we're celebrating it. Stuck working. Life is good. Mm. Slowing down for Sunday afternoon. I'm time stamping. It's very tedious. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say I'm a fan of time stamping. One of those little things that's like, 
I don't want to have to do this. Oh my God, three misses in a row. That's insane. But sleep sh uh, early sleep should be unreliable, so it's all good. Map changes to provide encounter alternatives. I don't really think I... We have, cha we have changed our encounters. Oh yeah, big time. Is there any way we could ever make our trainer character black? Um, I feel like if you were going to do like a, like that, like it has to be like a customized character. I, I wonder if you could do that in gen three, like the code just does not allow that in gen one. Um, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that, but it would have to be like an individual character. Um, and the problem is there, it's like, just where, where do you draw the line? Unfortunately, um, so I wonder though, I, I feel like that would be more implementable in like Emerald to like actually like have like a more of a, a character customization thing. It's worth thinking about for sure. Um, I, I don't, I don't think it's in the scope of gen one though. Um, damn it. Why did I let Mankey faint? I'm a fool. <laughs> okay, true comment. This is 90s Japan. No foreigners allowed. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, kind of valid. <laughs> Um, okay, we do have Jigglypuff, uh, for a water gun, which is, which is nice. Um, all right, yeah, that's, this is what I've been waiting for. Like, that, the one hiker that I can just obliterate with water gun, it's big things. You gonna evolve Jigglypuff right away? Yes, we are. Yeah, the audio glitches are kind of funny, and it's not like, it's fortunately not game-breaking, so, it's not bad. Um, disable. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Um, I will get, yeah. Character customization is possible generation two, though limited. Crystal clear allows you to customize your sprite and has a hex editor to change the color of it. Uh, will there still be just one EV or will be the way to get more if someone wanted all, all the evolutions? Yeah, we're making it a 151, um, and also like a living dex, uh, li dex livable, what, I don't know how you s say that. It's like, we're going to make it possible to complete the living dex. So, EV's available on the route before the Indigo Pateau, uh, Route 23. So you can catch all three starters as well there and, and, and EV. And the reason that works for me is in Crystal Legacy, that's the same rough area, like technically that you catch the um, the starters in Crystal Legacy. Wait, I have a Moonstone. Anyway, whatever. We got disabled. I mean, could have got disabled either way. Now you can hold 40 items. I think it's doubled. It's pretty good. The only time uh, it's I've run into the issue is like quite late game, where I wasn't like managing items at all. Man, what move was that? <laughs> uh, how easy it will be to trade Pokemon? Um, you could trade between a basic game and 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 Crystal Legacy. I wouldn't get my hopes up with yellow. Um, again, it's just like, I just, this game's just a disappointment, you know? And everyone's gonna be like, oh, yellow legacy's not good enough, and it's not up to my expectations, and it's not as good as Crystal Legacy. And it's like, yeah, because this game's so busted, you know? There's just so much shit. We just, it's like, you just can't expect that because the code, we're just so limited by the code, you know? I mean, it's a great, it's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really good, but. You just got to lower your expectations in all things Gen 1, you know? And that's the great thing about it. But, uh, yeah, people want some... some. got to be honest. Like, I see people like, oh, like, make it so you can catch a shiny. And it's like, 
get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. Like, I we could probably make that happen. You know, like it would show like, oh, these are the these are the DVs that, you know, make it shiny, but like Shiny doesn't exist in Gen 1. Stop. I'm sorry. Like it it you're in the wrong game. If you want shiny Pokemon, go to Gen 2 and on. Like it's just it's just not that game, you know? Stop trying to make it that game, you know? It's just it's it's not a thing. And I I don't know. I just I don't Whoa, that was crazy. That was like an encounter. Um, whoa, that's such an interesting interaction. So we, we had an encounter and it was loaded as an encounter, but because the repel was there, that's cool. Actually, that is interesting to see how that code works. Um, dark humor, disable is pretty good. Sometime, someone in a truck used it on me almost a year ago. In a truck used it. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry, bro. Life is fine, don't worry. I'm still sorry. Um, will we be able to my buy moonstones? No. You will not be able to buy moonstones. There are four moonstones in the game. And if you throw one out or you waste it, you will not be able to get all the evolutions that you want. Although a lot of these Pokemon you can uh, run into. But I just, I don't know. Like, I I know people are going to say, because in, in Crystal Legacy, you don't know how many people have hit me up and said, hey man, I'm really upset. I killed Sudowoodo and I want to 251 the dex. Can you make it, like, can you like make it so that like Sudowoodo can be caught again? I'm like, no, you killed Sudowoodo, man. What's like what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why would you kill Sudowoodo? Like, don't come, don't come crying to me, cause you killed our tree boy. That's your fault. <laughs> if you wanted to do 251 and you killed Sudowoodo, that's not my problem. And then I start to realize, goddamn, I feel bad for every single game development company in the world. Because I'm sure they get comments like that all the time. Weekly pseudo would like Lapras. That's actually not a bad idea. I actually love that idea. But I'm like, bro, don't come to me because you killed pseudo Udo. Anyway. Yeah, I killed both Snorlaxes, but I'm trying to finish the decks. What do I do? Exactly. I sold my Moonstones and I'm trying to finish the decks. What do I do? What's wrong with you? What? You know? I don't want to put Moonstones in the game because the purpose of Moonstones is that they're rare. Like, they're from space. Or, or, I don't know, something like that. They should be rare. There's four in the game. There's four Pokemon you can evolve. Um, you can actually catch both the Nidos and Wigglytuff in Cerulean Cave. Nidos in Safari Zone. So you actually only need Clefairy. Um, but yeah, it's like things like that. Like I, I, I think, yes, it would make like, um, God, I'm so like, I'm so like, I, I don't know, man. I'm like kind of sharp today. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I just feel a little ruthless. Like, I have no sympathy. I'm like, I don't know. I hope I hope it's not bad vibes. I'm just trying to be, like, honest. Ooh, but Raz. Um, will some back sprites get an update? Yes. Yes. All the bad back sprites are getting updates. The, the squad has been crushing it on back sprites, and I'm pumped. Um, ooh, what do we get? Double slap, yeah. Double slap is always better than pound because even two does forty, and it's got perfect accuracy. So that's a that's a big upgrade for Wigglytuff, man. Cool. Um, I think the playtesters have done something like seventy back sprites, or the back sprite squad. Let's grab the. Let's actually grab this. Oh, one other change, by the way, guys, is um, because. <laughs> I've never noticed that Pikachu animation before. He, like, jumps out of the way. <laughs> Love Pikachu, man. Um... Okay, so the fossil that you don't get will be given to you in Fuchsia by the, the fishing guru, guru that normally gives you the good rod. And the good rod has moved to Vermilion. So. And and, and that was originally uh, where you got the... Uh, 
what did you get? Why don't I have another rare candy? Why am I so foolish? Anyway. Yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm just, my brain is a little, a little off today. Um, damn, Jesse and James from with that hyper beam. So, Old Rod from Vermilion moves to Viridian, which is like, you know, first city in the game. Good Rod in Fuchsia moves to Vermilion. Fishing Guru in Fuchsia moves, no, now gives you the fossil that you don't get from here. Uh, you can also find the fossils in Seafoam Islands in a, in a low a low amount. And, <sighs> um, brain, Super Rod stays the same. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Um, Back Sprite Squad is Smith's only fan. Damn, that's funny. That's clever. <laughs> I had every Pokemon up until Gen 9 and also every region and also every move and every map. I had some more ideas, but I wanted to keep my suggestions realistic. <laughs> yeah, bro. We'll, we'll get on that. Just don't talk about amnesia. <laughs> Alright, farewell, shoulder shot. Thanks for coming out, man. Good to see you. Nice to see some zombies, uh, some zombie fans, you know? Still here, too. Wow, that's annoying. The change log says Old Rod now in Viridian. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> replace every move with amnesia except hyper beam and make it a special dragon type. <laughs> yeah, rod arrangement always seems weird since you go south from lavender to get to fuchsia, so you always get the super rod before good rod. It was really w poorly placed. And like also old rod by Ver vermilion? Like what the wh what is the purpose? Like they give you magikarp right over there. Like like they literally they give you magikarp right here okay and then you gotta wait two more gyms before before like you get the good the old rod which only has magikarp yeah so early game old rod then you get the good rod in vermilion hold up uh 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 i can explain So TM2, check this, right, 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 right. This is now Razorwind. It used to be Whirlwind, which is useless. Whirlwind is 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 near near useless. I I would argue the most useless TM. So we put Razorwind here. Razorwind used to be in the Rocket Hideout, but you could buy it in the same city that you picked it up for the first time. So we move Razorwind here. It's got a 100% accuracy. I might buff it to 100 base power. So that way it's a two turn, which basically makes it 50. Um, but it's two turn. I don't know. I mean, I hate Razorwind. Everyone wants me to do so much stuff for Razorwind. And I just, I hate it. I don't even, I hate Razorwind so much. I'm like, it doesn't even deserve my time. So I don't know, yeah. Razor bind. Give it increased crit chance. Well you it's just it's just crit chance. It's just it's just crit chance. So I don't know. It's kinda OP. Yeah, it doesn't even deserve anything. Yeah, I mean Whirlwind is worse, strictly speaking, because Whirlwind doesn't work like Rowan's just bad, man. It's literally just for wild encounters. That that's all it all it does. Um, all right, let's fight a rival. I think I think we got this.
Like I like it as an early power spike move like Mega Punch. It kind of fills that role. Because even with 80 power, like, that is a strong move, to be fair. It's just that it's two turns, so it kind of has an effect of power of 40. Um, so it's not really a good move, but I don't know. <laughs> I suppose if you put that on a bird, it might be kind of nice, actually. I, th I think I think I think people will find use for it there at 80 because I guess that would be 120, you know. So it's like a, it's like a it would basically like if you gave it to Pidgey or Sparrow with with stab normal, it's basically going to be doing 60 a turn, which is not bad, you know. What about Skull Bash? Ugh, don't want to talk about Skull Bash either. Those two, those two, like they literally just make me angry <laughs> and then you get body slam and ssn i know body slam should be where try attack is and try attack should be where body slam is we've thought about it we've thought about it oh also manky's got some buffs um manky or sorry evie's got some buffs um we gave it more hp we gave it 10 hp 10 defense 10 attack and five special maybe? Or maybe 15 HP and five defense or something? I can find it. Um, okay, so Eevee went from 55 to 65 HP, 55 to 65 attack, 50 to 70 defense, and 65 to 70 special. So basically now it has the same base stats as a buff Pikachu. And as you can see there, like it can take a hit now, which is kind of what we wanted um because previously eevee was pretty bad thoughts on changing bird type to status and making all status moves it uh already done yeah that's what we actually it was exactly what we did um yeah so now they just status moves just hit everyone neutrally except for the ones you would expect to not like thunder wave retains electric so that you can't thunder wave uh ground types you know but but for the most part you got it uh, sand attack, you know, is, is a ground move. Like, that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to take on Misty for sure. Um, I think we'll just go through this in, in speed up. Uh, focus energy was kind of breaking the game, so we had to remove it's actually working. I personally feel that four times uh, focus energy is too strong. Because any fast Pokemon that uses focus energy basically gets auto crit and that's too much. Whereas doubling crit chance uh, for a Pokemon is, is never going to give you auto crit unless you're like electrode, you know? And I, but, but like, yeah. Yeah. And, and for razor wind buffs, it, it has a hundred percent accuracy now. So it's 80, hundred percent accuracy. Not great, but like I said, on a Pokemon that has stab, that might do something. I'm I'm curious actually. Um, I, I I actually should probably ask the playtesters to to try that out. But yeah, four times crit chance is way too much. Cause like there's some Pokemon that it, it just calculated on base speed, and there's some Pokemon that are so fast they have a one in five crit chance to start with. So if you times that by four, it's like a it's like an 8 in 10. You know what I mean? Like, or I guess a 4 and 5. Um, yeah. Makes it sword stance, essentially. <laughs> but yeah, if we don't fix it, we need to remove it from their sets. It's been glitching the game, so we had to put it back. I mean, you could also just leave it in as a relic of Gen 1, you know? Razor Wind as flying type hyper beam. Nope. Uh, we've already got a power move. Uh, Sky Attack has become a uh, flying type fire blast. Um, so that's that. Gen, Gen One does only has one hundred and fifty power move, um, and 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 adding another one kind of dilutes the purpose, like the you know the 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 role of hyper beam. Um, I'm trying to think, right? Gen 1 and 2 only have 150 power move. 
to be fair, we did we did make Razor uh Solar Beam a, a, a two turn one eighty. So I guess I guess I'm kinda lying, aren't I? Um because Razor Solar Beam was just so bad where it was. Um But what I'm getting at is I don't really think I don't really think that flying types needs it when you have sky attack. Um Grass really suffers. So Yeah, also, yeah, giving Scyther f flying Hyper Beam would be ridiculous. It keeps its power, but it strikes first without charging. Whoa. Okay. Yes. Actually, in that sense, that's not a bad thought. So it's it takes a turn to recharge. So you can throw that 80 off, and it's an 80 early game is pretty good, but... If you don't kill, then you have to recharge. Man, that is the actually the best. I like. I have read every possible idea for Razor Wind and hated every single one. And that's interesting. Um. Okay, let's. Uh... No, not early hyper beam. Just, the, just the the charge. So you're just making the charge be turn one rather than turn two, or the damage be turn one. Not hyper beam. Not hyper beam. But just, <laughs> just the, yeah. Don't say it's hyper beam. It's not hyper beam. You're gonna give people the wrong idea. <laughs> um. Could do the same thing for Sk for uh, Skull Bash. It's not Hyper Beam. It's just Beam. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it, it is weaker, but hundred percent accuracy hyper beam, but I don't like that. I, I I don't know why. I just feel like I don't like that because people are going to go crazy if they read that. I don't know why. It's just, I know, <laughs> but yes, with gen one recharge rules, that's a, that's a cool idea. We should replace the trolley problem with what to do with Nightshade and Razor Wind as Philosophy 101 material. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, Wiggly, like, Wiggly Tough is nice because of this water gun. Like, that really makes my life easier than having to kick through an, an onyx you know i like that a lot all right um make it a little the last potion yeah no worries manky yeah like i love gen one hyper beam i think it's such an interesting move um in this in really in this gen only you know uh yes pyro there is a hard mode Oh, and just uh, how goes the project so far kind of question. Yeah, um, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. I, I really playing through this one. Um, I think I think it's coming together. I feel I've never felt so good about it. So we've just got to get some more videos out, documenting stuff, and really just hammer in the, the balancing. That's the big stuff, like like game balancing. It's it's tricky because everyone's game is going to be different. You know, people. People watched my last, my Elite Four run, and they go, dude, your Elite Four is terrible. You're, it's way too easy. And I'm like, yeah, well, I have an S tier team, you know? And it's like, well, what if someone wants to run their favorite Pokemon? Uh, you haven't seen that fight, you know? So, yeah. Missing Nobi changed. Uh, it's being discussed. I'll leave it there. Why isn't Tauros a normal, a fighting Pokemon? What about Tauros is fighting? 
like it's a it's an animal not like a you know like fighting types are like humanoid Like, I like that, actually. That's one thing I like about the move Mega Punch. Like, people say Mega Punch should be fighting. But the, the idea behind Mega Punch is, like, it's a, an, a, a, an unskilled fighter, right? It's like you're just throwing a big punch, you know? There's no technique to it. It's just a normal, it's just a normal blow. What's cool about fighting is, like, the idea is, like, it's kind of... it Because it, fighting kind of feels like a normal move. But the, the idea behind it is, like, there is... Um, like a technique involved to a, a fighting type. And that's what makes it special. It's not just power. It's like technical. Yeah. Paldean Tauros is fighting, but listen, we can't, we can't start talking about what gen nine does, you know, God, I'm so sharp today, guys. Sorry. I, I really hope I'm not being bad vibes. I'm just, I'm just trying to be like straight up with you, you know, um, you, you, you can't be like, well, they do that in gen nine is like, that's great, but this is Gen 1. Yeah. Uh, I do agree, though. Tauros would be great on Bruno. It's unfortunate. But Professor Oak gets Tauros, so. No bad vibes. Cool. I, I, like I said, I'm not, like, mad, but I just don't want to, like... <laughs> I just want to be direct. Because <laughs> the more direct I am, the better everyone can understand the goals of the ROM hack. And then we can all, as a community, be on the same page with each other. Yeah, Mega Punch is just like some random dude throwing a haymaker versus Karate Chop is like you've trained and refined this like this move. Gorochu. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You know, being direct is good because so many people don't follow it. And that, that's like my goal is I just, I want, I want us to be on the same page. It, we're, we're all going to have a better time if that's the case. So, yeah. Um, oh, we are out of heels. Nice. We're, we're making great progress through here. Direct but subtypes rude. Fair enough. Uh, yes, Beedrill is going to be in the game. Uh, back to, it's put, been put back in Viridian Forest. Well, Weedle has. Yeah, it's crazy that Weedle's just not in this game. Oh, a fighting type Taurus would be a nerf, gaining a psychic weakness. Actually, that's not a bad point. Yeah. Might not even help it, you're right. At least in the base game. I mean, fighting's definitely better. Base power of bubbles 10. I think absorb is 30. Uh, no, we don't intend to change the ugly Pokemon sprites to Gen 2 sprites. No, we're not gonna, we're not gonna backport any, uh, Gen 2 sprites into the game. This kind of removes the, the Gen 1 feel. And also yellow, yellow actually has pretty good front sprites. Sweet. All right. That is, uh, that is our man done, right? Got our SS ticket. Got our Nugget. What do we have? We have like Thunder Wave. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, there's our first. Uh, there's our first glitch. I'm gonna save it. Okay. It just. It just. It was something to do with Pikachu being uh, like not following me. Glad to see that it wasn't like a horrible thing. He <laughs> just seems to have a limp. I noticed that. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, God. Red and blue. Golbat haunts my dreams, man. Don't even bring that guy up. Um, all right. So we want to get Pikachu level 20 because Pikachu gets Thunder Punch at 20. 
Pikachu is a great early game Pokemon. It just falls off. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, note wrote 25 Dratini run. No, you, you have to get a super rod to pick up Dratini. Like you still need it. It's just, or maybe it's good rod. You definitely can't get Dratini with the old rod there. But yeah, you can catch a Dratini up there now, as a as a little little reference. Repair at focus energy. Yeah, it, it's not that we don't want to repair focus energy. It's just that it has a lot of unintended consequences that kind of break the game. So we've just re reverted it so that we can continue to play test and try to figure out what's wrong with it. Oh. Oh my god, that's something I totally forgot to mention, but ch yes, I'm so happy. I don't know if anyone noticed that for Brock. Every time chat says Amnesia Gengar, take a shot. I know. <laughs> it's 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 ruthless. Nice, Pikachu. Trying to learn Thunder Punch. Yes, Pikachu. Yes. I, I like where Pikachu is. Like, it can... It can punch above its weight class, and it's great in the early game. <gasps> God damn, Craig, you legend. Look at that. Misty with her own sprite, man. Oh, that gets me excited. That is massive. Yeah, Brock also has his own sprite. I can actually show you Brock right now. Before we before we fight Misty. Izona. Okay, that was Izona! Oh my god, chat. I'm sorry, I said Craig. Well, Craig implemented it, but um. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, we're just gonna. We're just gonna glitch our way back to uh Pewter. Just I just wanna show because I actually didn't even acknowledge Brock, um, which is criminal of me because goddamn that looks so good whoa did I break the game oops well now I definitely broke the game or is this just whoa there's like a little cave over here what the hell huh where am I right now like this is Whoa, that's just part of the map. What the hell is this place? What the hell, dude? That's so weird. What the hell? Where am I? <laughs> Clearly broke the game. Let's just... uh <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Anyway, just here to check out Brock. It just looks so natural, I didn't even consider it. Whoa, man. I literally didn't even consider it. I was just like, yeah, uh, that's Brock. <laughs> wow. Cut bush and stairs over Mount Moom. I don't think we're going to do that. Um, we, we thought about it, but I think the decision has been a new... Yeah, it's the GSC spray, I believe. I believe so. Yeah. All right, let's fight Misty. Yeah, I don't know how I got into the void there without crashing the game. I'm very confused. Something about Misty, like, just looks even better. Like, I don't know, Brock, it just looks right. But Misty, it's like, holy shit, that's good. Erica and Giovanni had custom overworld sprites. It makes sense for Giovanni. I didn't know Erica did though. So sick. So sick. All right, Wigglytuff. Let's see what you got here. Just, just start double slapping. Oh. 
Yeah, custom Lieutenant Surge. Yeah. You would be the first person in history to get the item in the void of the Safari Zone entrance. Huh. Okay. Bro, Wigglytuff's nice here. Like, it's actually doing work. This is why we let you and the team cook. Can't wait to see the rest of the leaders. Yeah, let's say some hearts in the chat for the team, man. Oh my god. Like, I really I really feel like this ROM hack is starting to, to come together. Really feel like we're getting into a good spot here. <laughs> Wigglytuff smacking the crap out of Psyduck feels very anime. <laughs> That's funny. I love that I'm like, let's show the team some love. And then Arrow and Zack, who are both members of the team, are showing uh, the love. <laughs> Misty and Psyduck shouldn't Brock have Vulpix. No. You, you, you could think that. Um, the problem with that, though, is that Vulpix is a fire type. So it's just like kind of weird, you know, like what, like, I don't know to me, I, that just feels so awkward to put a fire type on a, on a rock gym. And like Brock is just so Geodude Onyx, man. Like that's his team. Hey, what's up TriStar? Good to see you again. Uh, so cool to see Psyduck in the context of an important battle instead of a total gen one game afterthought and anime meme. Facts. That is 100% facts. Um, yeah, like, why does Star you need to be on this team if Starmie is here, you know? Why, like, it's fine. It's totally fine to just have Starmie. Um, so I I really like, I really like giving both of those Pokemon a, just a, a, a chance to, you know, to shine a little bit. Because they, they they need that love, for sure. Uh, they're, they're both very, very afterthoughty Pokemon. Um, and it's like, what does, what does... You know, one provide that the other doesn't provide. So, thanks. Chat, we need to show uh, TriStar some hearts. Let's, let's, let's get those hearts popping. I want to see some emojis, some hearts, some loves in the chat. Let's see it. Um, how are we doing? I feel like... Oh, there's... I do want to get to... Uh, I do want to get to Vermilion because I want to pick up... Hey! I need to see those hearts. I need to see those hearts. There it is. Brock is rock hard. Okay. <laughs> that would be funny if Brock said something like that. I also, I love the effort they put into like that trash house. It looks really good. Um, I know this isn't a good matchup, but. Ah, dang. Hey. Just want to fly through this. I just want to get. I want to get the good rod. That's my goal. Um, I want to show you guys that we've added the good rod early, and maybe try to catch a, a crabby. Alrighty, let's. Uh, where are we heading here? Yeah, double slap buff is pretty nice, isn't it? It's uh, it does between forty and a hundred, which I know hundred is a lot, but it it it's really I would say quite balanced because seventy five percent of the time it's doing between forty and sixty, um, which is not that broken. It's only twelve and a half for a hundred, um, so yeah, I, it feels good. Um, all right, just skipping those trainers. We have made it to. Right, so, uh, to get Raichu Phil, you go to Cerulean Cave and catch it. Anyway, this was previously the old rod guy, but now this is the fishing guru's older brother. He loves fishing. We love fishing too. Take this. There it is. Got a good rod. Now, how many, uh, what do we got up front? Actually, probably tough is good for for this catch. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure you can catch Krabby here. HM things are 
uh, interactable in the overworld, but this is not. There's no select system. There is our crab. Hello, crab. Oh, that's a good level, too. Might just go for a sing and hope for the best. Curious to see how Krabby plays. Be prepared, this boy is quite cracked. Really? So what does it come with? Good attack, pathetic special, bubble, leader, and vice grip. So it's a, definitely a physical attacker that also happens to have some water moves. Oh, check DVs, yeah, yeah. So again, you click on A, you hold start, and then press A on stats, and there's its DVs. Man, honestly, nine attack, that's great. It's, it's slow, but it's not a fast Pokemon to begin with, it's got it would be nice to have better special, but <laughs> I love the crab emojis in the chat. That's funny. Um, anyway, it feels good. I, I, I like I like where that's at. You would think it has bad special until you get crab hammer. Yeah, so crab hammer is a really good move in this game. Um, but it's only on crabby. So, like, it's it only has to be balanced for one Pokemon. So, it on paper, like, it's a crazy powerful move. Uh, I forget what buffs what buffs it has. Maybe a playtester can say, but because Krabby has such bad special, it's it's just bounced to to, to to be good on on Kingler. Buy some potions. Buy a few great balls. Um, so I don't know what else we're gonna catch. Maybe an elect. We were talking about maybe Electabuzz. Um, We're talk oh, I can't afford that. Um, yeah, oh my god, no, this, I really, I'm really starting to feel this coming together. Like, it's just starting to feel a little more polished. Don't box the most this time. I know, I am curious to see what Pikachu can do in the Elite Four. So maybe we'll hold on to Pikachu instead of Elect Electabuzz. But anyway, chat, um, that's going to be it for this run. So thank you so much for coming out. Um, I, I, it's a good feeling early game. I, I just, I got to say it again. Like it just, it feels solid. It feels put together. Um, so yeah. Just if you ignore all the menu, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. But you know, like, like that's, that's just to be expected. Like for me, like. That's just not even in my brain because it's like, yeah, whatever, that, that's fixed. But it's like, how does the game flow? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks for spending time this time with us on your Sunday. Thank you guys for spending time with me. I appreciate it. Uh, much love, and I will see you later. Thanks to everyone who donated. Always appreciated. Take care. Oh, big video coming out next Saturday. Another AI one. It's really cool. So, see ya. Bye. Love you.